Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we are going to be opening up a booster box of Battle Bond for one of our patrons, Marcus Mills, aka Exotic MTG. Um, he is uh, he's been a patron for two months now. Getting his, this is his second booster box. The uh, first box we got him was Dominaria, and it was not shabby at all. Um, in fact, uh, he he got a Karn. To Fury, I mean, he, he definitely he definitely got money's worth. Definitely got his money's worth. So, anyways, so we're gonna try our luck with Battle Bond here. Um, there is a lot of good stuff to be pulled out of this. Um, doubling season, um, uh, the Arena Rector Land Tax, True Name Nemesis, Foil True Name Nemesis. Holy cow, that thing's sitting at like 260, 270 bucks right now, uh, simply because it's the only foil version of true name nemesis so uh anywho we got our our nifty box here uh i'm not sure how i feel about this packaging but it is what it is so we're just gonna go ahead and toss this and there is marcus's booster box of battle bond okay, we're gonna split this up into three piles because that looks like it's gonna fall slightly even okay all right let's go ahead and start this out uh thank you very much marcus for being a patron if you want to check out uh the patron stuff that we offer go ahead and check uh we've got a link down in the description of um to that goes to our patron these are giving me some issues opening up um holy cats um <laughs> anyways um you can check it out down there. Um, we've got everything from a basic buck. Uh, for four bucks, you actually get a booster pack uh, of uh, anything that's in standard. So, uh, you know, essentially, for the price of a booster pack, you can get a booster pack and help support the channel, which is greatly appreciated. So, anyways, oh, we got the token in land. Oh, what? Oh, okay, so these are in here backwards. Okay, I. That's interesting. Um, so we'll go. <laughs> uh, I, I haven't opened any of this yet. I actually wasn't even able to draft it. So, uh, but we are gonna um, kind of slow roll through the comments. <laughs> um, that was so weird, so weird. Okay. Anyways, uh, so we got. <laughs> uh, Regna the Redeemer as our rare, and then Crav the Unredeemed. Is that? Wait a second. Oh, no, that's okay. This is one of those pair ones. I got it. Okay, so first pack, you got double rare. That's kind of nice. No idea where these guys sit at, though. And then we got uh, Fertilid and Reckless Scholar. So. All right, well, let's see if the next pack is like that, because that was kind of weird. Am I able to open them up? No, these things are, like, sealed. Um, wow, these are... They got to a notch in them somewhere? I'm looking, and I see an attempt at one, I think, but... We'll go back to the old Zendikar way. I think it was uh, Zendikar that there was an issue the packs were really hard to open so let's see okay so um we should have token land okay and then rare uncommons i think i did that right okay we'll find out <laughs> Um, so we're going to slow roll this. I don't think there's any good commons in this. I could be wrong. If I can get my camera to completely focus there. Okay. Um, got another fertile ground. 
and my camera is giving me all sorts of issues here people let me do some adjusting and see if I can't fix this that looks better okay fertile ground uh, benthic giant sorry we're off for a slow start here people seed born muse so I didn't do it the right way um, but you got a seed born muse so I guess that's good holy cow I am just destroying this folks um, tenacious dead Lava Fiend Overlord and Slum Reaper. All right, let's see if I can do this right. We got Seaborn Muse, so I guess that's uh, that's good. That's up there. That's like, uh, I don't know, eight, ten bucks right now. So, so yeah, this can be a long video if, uh, if I continue to have these issues. Okay, so we got that. That should be rare right there, right? Yes, okay, so... Flip that over. <laughs> rare token, right? Yeah, land. Okay, that's the rare. We'll go ahead and... There we go. We're in a Gold Forge Sentinel. Uh, Long Road Home. Oracle's Insight. And then I don't think... Are there any? Yeah, I don't think there's any. Uh, let me double check my list here real quick. Um, oh, Chain Lightning. Okay, we got Chain Lightning. Um, chain Lightning and Beast Within seem to be the only things really worth anything. So Chain Lightning and Beast Within, those are both the uncommon level. So nothing in here uh, to actually look at. Okay, there we go. And then our rare is Megas of the Candelabra. That is a cool looking card. All right, I apologize, folks. I was ill-prepared for this. I really didn't think that uh, there would be... <laughs> that they would change up the order. We've had the same order for I couldn't tell you how long, and now I can't even open the packs. I apologize, Marcus. I really do. Okay, so... We'll go like that. That should be our rare. All right. Okay, that's our foil. Dang it. Well, congratulations. You got a foil mycosynth lattice. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, yeah, that's sitting at 25 bucks. So there you are, sir. Um, you got that. And then a foil uh, sickle dancer. Interesting. <laughs> wow. Uh, Blood feud, Genesis chamber, and out of bounds. Alrighty. Well, we are 0 for 3. Um, not card-wise. Card-wise, we're doing flipping good. Um, but... Okay, so let's try this again. We got Emblem. That's not foil. Okay, okay, so here we go. Should be rare. Flip it over. That's not rare. Okay, we got... Chakram Receiver, Chakram Slinger, Flame Ra Flame Wave Invoker. Okay, and our rare is uh, oh the uh, Morphic Pool. Uh, these are the new lands uh, specifically for uh, two-headed giant uh, or EDH. So, yay! All right, now hopefully we can actually start moving along here. And I, tell you, I am thoroughly impressed with the packaging of these cards. I don't know what they thought was going to happen, but I'm glad we saw a change from uh, the Masters packs that were cardboard. Okay, so that should be our rare. Go ahead and put that right there. All right, here we go. Uh, we got last one standing. I flip and love that card. Uh... Ezra Oddsmaker and a Hunted Wumpus. Wait a second. Oh, wait a second. Is that one of the pair ones? No, that is... Okay, so then we got a foil. Mother of Pearl. Uh, last one standing was our rare... Man, I am... Sorry, folks. Not Noxus Dragon. We got another foil. This is a... Uh, Spellweaver Duo. 
that is actually the camera does not do this justice this is one of the most beautiful foils i have seen in quite some time holy cats oh my goodness that is breathtaking that is a, an amazing card um marcus if, if i mean I, I know you're a collector of sets so you're probably gonna want to keep that but on the off chance you don't want it i will gladly buy that off you because holy cow that is beautiful that's that like needs to be framed that's how good that is okay so we're gonna do something a little bit different we're gonna go like this we're gonna take two cards and if one's a rare or if we only get uh, two uncommons, then we know then one's an uncommon or anything. We got Phantom Warrior, uh, Jubilant Mascot, and hey, Chain Lightning. There you go. There you go. So that means we get another foil. This will be the foil. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> you got a flipping foil swords to plowshares. Marcus, holy cats. Um, let's see if that's at anything. No, there's no way that that is not worth something. It's a swords. Well, I don't see it on my list here, so... You gotta be kidding me. That's... Wow, okay, I thought, I thought it'd be more than that. It's three bucks, but okay. So our rare is... Uh, Luxury Sweet. All right, another one of the... Uh, what do they call them? Battlelands? I, I forget what they're calling for this set, but... Phew! Marcus. Marcus, Marcus. Okay, I'm going to start getting boxes, and... They're, we're just going to say they're for you. <laughs> okay, so... One, two. We got, uh... Blaring Captain. Gang Up. And these are all uncommon, so then one of these, this should be an uncommon. Uh, and it is a Blaring Recruiter. With a rare being. Zinder Splits Judgment. Yeah, okay. I think that's how you pronounce it. Not 100%. I remember seeing something on maybe Reddit about it, but... Yeah, there's no vowels, so... Kind of anybody's game there. But, all right, well, that guy does stuff. Rare, should be rare. Two of them, that's right, that's what we're doing, I forgot. We got Aim High, we got Enduring Scale Lord, wasn't this a rare? I thought it was a, a rare in Dragons, I could be wrong though. And Hand of Solengar, so... That means this is an uncommon. Uh, Mother of Pearl. Did I do it again? Oh, no, we got twins. Okay. We got Zinder Split, uh, Eye of Wisdom, and Okran, Eye of Chaos. All right. Tell you what, you know, there's... If you look online, you will find people with almost every set... Um, that find a way to map boxes. Um, it usually requires buying a ridiculous amount of product um, to the point where it's almost like you've sunk so much money into it, it's almost not worth it. But anyways, I think this set um, will make those people go slightly insane uh, with the way these cards are lined up here, because holy cats, this is nuts. Okay, we got a Steep Glider. Uh, Dinrova Horror. I actually liked that card a lot when it was in Standard. And a bunch of commons. This is a Fog Bank. And our rare is... <laughs> Arena, Arena Rector. That's two Mythics for you. Uh, and you're sitting at... I think you're sitting around 50, 60 bucks right now in card value. And we still have two piles to go and two packs. Wow. One, two. All right. We got ourselves Assassin Strike, uh, Cheering Fanatic, and Commons. 
So our last uncommon is Beast Within. There's, I think I said that was like a buck or something. And then our rare is uh, Mind Blade Render. All right. Land and token. Two cards. All right, we got a Pulse of Marasa. Get this to focus again. We got Spell Snare. I like that card. And Commons. We got a Bring Down. And our rare is... Guafa. Hazid. Hazid? Profiteer. I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be wrong. All right, on to our third... Third. Second stack here. We, uh, we're doing good. We're doing good for Marcus's box. All right, got in our spell snare. Take up arms and commons. That means we got a common here. It is a morbid curiosity with our rare being War's Toll. Where is that one? I remember this. Was this from the... Kamigawa? I could be wrong on that. Uh, I'm not seeing it at the top of my list, but that's still a good card. That's still a good card. All right, we're starting on the second stack here. We're starting to move a little more fluidly. Uh, I kind of got this down to somewhat of a science. Token land. Two cards. All right, we got Spectral Searchlight. Another Morbid Curiosity. And blaze. That means we got a foil. So this should be our foil. And it is a foil pacifism with our rare being Core Spirit Dancer. Um, I don't know where that one's at, but this is another one that's that's uh, if it doesn't have in uh, value, it is a uh, it is a good card. It is a solid card. All right. Well, I hope you all are enjoying this. I'm sure Marcus is. As he's watching his uh, patron money just rack it up. We got Take Up Arms. We got Feral Hydra. And then we got a Rot Feaster Maggot. So right here is our uncommon of Switcheroo. I love this one. Good card. Good card. Our rare is Thrilling Encore. We'll move that out of the way a little bit. Move on to the next pack. But yeah, check out our Patreon link. It's down in the link below. Um, I think you'll find that uh, the rewards we have right now are worth the what we put out in them. Because everything aside from the one dollar tier, you you get physically something. Like I said, the four dollar tier, you get a pack of standard, which is what you're gonna pay for that pack anyways. So you get the rare and the shiny out of it, plus you get to help us out. So that's kind of awesome. We get Swarm of Bloodflies, Opportunity, and Commons. Next uncommon is Relentless Hunter with our rare Diabolic Intent. Yeah, yeah that's, a good, that's a good thing. Uh, it's like six, seven bucks. Holy cow, value train. forgot we're doing that one two all right we got ourselves a rush blade commander dragon breath and can't tell them light that is a common next uncommon is oh we got one of the twinsy things all right we got virtus the veiled and gorm the great gorm the great i like that so yeah check out our patron patreon page lots of cool stuff there and like i said you help us out and the more patrons we get uh once we hit i believe 10 patrons uh we're going to start doing patron only giveaways um and then we we definitely plan on expanding on uh, some of the prizes as much as we possibly can we got a juggernaut we got a savage vent maw and we got an 
Oroskos Explorer. So that means we get a foil, I do believe. Uh, Charging Binox is our foil with our rare being Vigor. Vigor's up there too. It's like four or five bucks. As I wrestle with a pack as it almost readily defeats me. But, and you know, if you're not the Patreon type of person, feel free to go there and just kind of share out the information. Share it on your page, timeline, Twitter, whatever it is. Uh, get the word out there so we can open up more cool stuff. We got Tavern Swindler, Enthralling Victor, and Water Courser. That's a common. So our next uncommon is Plated Crusher. That guy's not too shabby. And our rare is Sentinel Tower. Sentinel Tower. What does that thing do? Really instant or sorcery spell? Ah, one of those. Okay. A stormy type artifact. I love me some storm. Oops, knocking cards over here. Okay, we got Unflinching Courage, Quest for the Grave Lord, and Hand of Silmgar is a common. Uncommon is Pettigreen Drake. That's that's not too shabby, actually. And then we got ourselves a Greater Good. Greater Good is another 4 or $5 card. I'll tell you what. Uh, Marcus is at our top tier. $100 a month, you essentially get a booster box. I do believe this month is very quickly paying for itself. And I think I got a glimpse at that, and this box just paid for it even more. We get a Swords, Trumpet Blast, and Pacifism. We got a Carmetra's Favor, and it is, it's a Dublin season. Two, the two most expensive mythics in in the set, and uh, and Mr. Marcus has pulled them both. Wow, uh, it's at thirty thirty five bucks right now. I mean, honestly, I could stop opening packs right now, and you would still get your money's worth. I'm not going to do that, but that's just that's where you're at. We got Mystic Confluence. We got Fumble. And we got a veteran explorer, so we either got the twin thing going again, or we got a foil. So we'll check out that bottom one first. It's a foil. Zinder split. Eye of wisdom. And a f You got foil version. Foil. Uh, Okron Eye of Chaos. I mean... This box is nuts. This box is nuts. Absolutely nuts. I'm just going to real quick see if I can find those on here because like eight, ten bucks a piece. Okay. Oh, Marcus, Marcus, Marcus. Wow. See, sign up for the Patreon because I'm going to open nothing but fire for you. We got Lore Weaver. We got Loyal Pegasus. And we got Eyeblade Assassin, which is a common. Next uncommon is Lay Weaver. Our rare is Play the Game. That's kind of a cool card. I like that. Good Lord Almighty. Okay, we got ourselves, ourselves. The crowd goes wild. I like that. Uh, Bold Weir Intimidator. Claustrophobia. That's a common. We got ourselves Inner Demon. And our rare is... Korvath's Fury. 
Oh, there's the choose friend or foe one. Okay, gotcha. All right, moving on to that third stack. Not that we need to because we've opened up straight fire in this value city. Marcus is watching this, dancing around the room. Probably got that little boy of his dancing with him too. If you if you ever get a chance to watch any of his videos, he's got a couple with his son in them, and that kid is just so dang cute. Okay, uh, we got decorated champion, we got slum reaper, and then we got rot feaster maggot. That's a common. We got kiss of Amisha, Amesha, Amisha. Seven life and draws two cards. That seems solid. With our rare being. Together forever. Forever. I'm st still struggling. Okay, well. Um, looks like we had a... My camera stopped there for a second. Don't know what happened. But, uh, I don't know. We'll try to get through it. So, we got two cards here. All right. We got ourselves a Jelen Sphinx Battle Rail Shaman and the Corsair. So, I think this is. Nope, that's our rare. Angelic Chorus. And then Nimbus Champion is the uncommon. Angelic Chorus. I'm not seeing that up there. That's okay, though, because, yeah. Like I said, Mark is done. Mark is done good. Probably the pack's feeling bad for kicking my butt so bad while I open them. All right, we got a Proud Mentor. We got a Battle Mastery. An Augur Spree is a common... So we got Impetuous Protege. Okay. Thought that was gold for a second. And then we got ourselves a Spire Garden. So you've got three of the five new lands so far. Which works out because I said Marcus is a collector of sets. Um, so he tries to get as many of the singles as possible. So, the less duplicates, the better. Two cards. We got Phantom Warrior. We got Aim High. And Fill with Fright. So then we got Gang Up. Our rare is... Tidespout, Tidespout Tyrant. Let's see what we can do with this next pack here. Get about... Oh, six, seven packs left in this little old stack. Two cards, not three. Okay, we got a Noxious Dragon. We got another Chain Lightning, rock on. We're going to put that in the, the good pile. Uh, Liturgy of Blood. That's a common. Oop, I'm knocking stuff over. Next uncommon, it... Oh, we got another one of the pairings. Uh, we got Toothy, Imaginary Friend, and Pure Imaginative Rascal. That's, I really enjoy the heck out of this pairing here. Um, that's just, that's awesome. Uh, the whole Imaginary Friend thing is just, I think it's cool that they went with that. Alright, what else can we do here? Got two regular mythics, foil mythic. Two cards off the side. We got veteran explorer. We got fog bank and fan favorite is a common. So that brings us to the steep glider, and our rare is sovereign of temptation. Hey, I opened up that pack rather well. It didn't try to kill me. Two cards. We got Assassin's Strike. We got Beast Within. 
we got Light Walker. That's a common. So our last common is Dinrova Horror. And then our rare is Mind's Eye. <laughs> not bad. Where is Mind's Eye on here? Um, oh, that's not as much as I thought. It's only like three bucks. But still, that's not bad. Mind's Eye is a good card. All right, we got Blaring Captain. I'm going to start a new pile here. There we go. Some offering and Rot Feaster Maggot. Maggot is a common. So our last uncommon is Blaring Recruiter. And then we got Bountiful Promenade. Uh, that is four of the five new lands. If we can get that last one, sir, I'll be very happy for you. Two. All right, we got um, Araza Oddsmaker, Cheering Fanatic, Spectral Searchlight. So that means we got either a foil or a double again. We'll check that last card just to be sure. We got a foil Bathe in Dragonfire, and our rare is Brightling. Um, I am not familiar with this card, and I'm not seeing it on my list off the bat. But it is a mythic. Um, it's a three. Vigilance gains lifelink. Return to your hand. You gotta be kidding me. This card is nuts. That is awesome. That is an awesome card. Holy cats. That is just. That's bonkers. I'm looking. Wow. Alright, well. Uh, theoretically, we should be getting at least one more Mythic out of this box because the foil doth not count. We got Switcheroo, Angel of Retribution, and Augur Spree. That's a common. So then we got this as our last common. It is a Pulse of Marasa. Get this thing to focus again. There we go. With our rare being Bonus Round. That's fun. All right, two packs left. Let's see what we can get out of here from Marcus. Not that he's done bad at all. Foil Mythic is uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Do that. Two. All right, we got Soul Blade uh, Renewer. There we go. Thrasher Brute. Angelic Gift. That is a common as the cards try to escape. Last uncommon, we got Soul Blade Corruptor. And our rare is Nixithid. I remember this guy. Was he is he still a thing? I'm I'm trying to look at my price list here and I'm not seeing it on here at the bat, but he that's a good card. That was a good card. Essentially you run it with uh, everything that empties your opponent's hand. So you can have a three drop, uh, usually five five or six six, um, uh, unless you're choosing yourself, which is probably a better way to run that. All right, so we got two here. We got Blaze. We got Kung Dias and Common. Last Common is Feral Hydra. Rare is Game Plan. All right, well, man, Marcus, <laughs> you done good here, son. You did done good. Wow. Um, so I'm thinking not a whole lot right here. You did get four of the five lands, Mind's Eye, Sower of Temptation. Why is that sounding like it should be something? I don't know. But you did get one pair. Oh, Chain Lightning. That was a good one. Uh, another one of the lands. Oh, the Foil Pair. That's kind of nice. Doubling Season. Very nice. Greater Good. Sentinel Tower. Uh, Vigor. Come on, camera. I know you can do it. 
Binox, uh, I got another pair, Gorm and Virtus. Diabolic Intent, Core Spirit Dancer, Wars Toll, um, Arena Rector, yeah, yeah, it's a thing. Uh, another pair, non foil though. Uh, War of the Lands, foil swords, and the other chain lightning there. Uh, foil spell weaver, last one standing, more land. There's the sexy one. Oh, that's not. I thought that was foil. I. All right, hold on. Okay, my bad. I apologize, man. I I really really thought that was a foil the way it, but I'm looking at it now. And that is that is not. I am. I apologize. I got your hopes up there. That's still not a bad card. Um, let's see where are we at. That's still seven eight bucks. Um, not what I was was thinking, and I apologize for that. I feel like a heel now. Uh, but still, Seaborn Muse. Um, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, thank you very much, Marcus, for being a patron, for supporting the channel. Um, yeah, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, it lets me do more of this stuff. Um, it, it is, I, I can't say thank you enough. Thank you so much. Um, and like I said, if y'all want to be a patron, check out the link below. Uh, you know, sign on as one of our $4 or even $10. $10 gets you a couple packs, plus we build you a pack out of the Build-A-Box, or Build-A-Pack box. All sorts of good stuff in there. Plenty of tiers to choose from. But if you like what you saw here today, do me a huge favor. Click that like button. Be sure to hit subscribe and hit the little bell notification button so you can tell them we have new episodes coming out. And be sure to share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, Chuckwagon MTG. Now, if you do me one last huge favor and check out this brief message about our sponsor. Chuckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.